Add the Smart Strings option to a Cashland SolarView Energy Portal to quickly identify faulty panels or connections which can lead to loss of revenue if not detected. Let's find out how. On large commercial solar PV systems, panels are typically connected in strings of 10 to 12 panels designed to match the inverter input ratings and panel characteristics. A single bad panel reduces the string output leading to lost revenue if not detected. Other causes of low string output are shading, a broken connection, dirt, and snow coverage. It is difficult to detect if one or more strings are not producing by observing only the total metered power output. This 250 kilowatt AC rated system appears to be working well, producing 236 kilowatts, nearly 95% of rated AC capacity, as shown on the output gauge. Yesterday, the system produced over $1,000 in revenue. Everything looks fine. Nothing to worry about, right? Actually, there is a problem, and every day it is left uncorrected, it's costing lost revenue. Over time, this can amount to a significant amount of money. A simple monitoring system with an output meter and graphs is not sufficient to identify this fault. Let's use SolarView to find the problem and tell us how to fix it. This panel is defective and causing a whole string to have no output. With the help of SolarView Smart Strings, we will be alerted to the problem through an email. Then, we will determine exactly where O&M staff should look so they can quickly fix the bad panel and restore the system back to 100% capacity. A few hours after the system started generating today, SolarView sent this email alarm, warning that a string was producing below the alarm threshold entered in setup. Click on the link in the email to go directly to the combiner screen in the Analyzer tools so we can see what the problem is. This solar PV generation system has over 1100 panels connected to 13 combiner boxes. Scroll down this screen to see the output current voltage and power of every string. Combiner box 2 is showing an alarm condition highlighted in red because string 8 has no output current. Although SolarView monitors the system 24-7, it is set to wait several hours before sending an alert to prevent nuisance alarms during startup or for short-term variations. For a visual comparison of the string currents in each combiner box, click on Strings in the Analyzer pull-down box. It also shows that string 8 in combiner 2 has no output, while the other strings are delivering current. Now that we know what the problem is, let's find out where to look to fix it. Now there's not much point telling you there's a problem without telling you how to correct it. O&M staff could waste a lot of time on a big roof trying to find one panel out of a thousand. There was a roof layout drawing produced when the system was built, but will anyone be able to find it years later when maintenance is needed? Actually, yes. It is one click away on the layout button. Either print it before visiting the site or bring it up on a mobile device when on the roof. Zoom in to find the location of panels connected in series as string 8 in combiner box 2. Look for a damaged connection or check each of the panels in the string to find which has a problem and needs replacing. Also, check the fuse for string 8 in combiner box 2. What is the financial impact of a lost string? Let's do the calculation, starting with a solar map to see how much revenue we are losing. For this location in southern Ontario, Annual output is 1300 kilowatt hours per kilowatt of AC installed capacity. For a typical string, the total string output under full sun is 3 kilowatts. That's the contribution of one string to the 250 kilowatt total system capacity. So we can work out the revenue loss calculation as $6 a day. It can probably wait until a crew is scheduled for other maintenance, but it should be fixed. Left unrepaired, a single faulty string results in lost revenue of $2,500 a year. If factory default settings for string alarm levels need to be changed, log in with the system username and password provided with SolarView from the Setup tab. Select Equipment, then Combiners, to access the Settings screen. The roof layout drawing is normally saved when SolarView is first installed, but an updated version can be uploaded here. Reset the peak recorder to start a new period to see if each string reaches its full output. Change the alarm level and time delay for each separate combiner.
String names can be modified to match layout drawings. Although you may never make changes from the factory set defaults, the help screen will give you more details should you wish to change alarm levels, edit names, or reset the peak recorder. Why add the smart string option to your SolarView system? Smart string monitoring is recommended for large 50 to 500 kilowatt systems with central inverters to ensure they are always operating at maximum output. Without it, a low output string could go undetected for a long time, resulting in significant lost revenue. SolarView checks every string under all irradiance conditions and sends an alarm if one string is significantly below the others. Operations and maintenance staff can download a roof layout to quickly locate and repair a defective string. Check that the string reaches its designed output under maximum irradiance conditions. Compare all strings to each other to determine if any are underperforming due to aging, soiling or snow coverage. From initial commissioning to end of life, always know how every string is producing. This reduces the need for time-consuming regular maintenance checks. Dispatch operation and maintenance staff only when necessary with the right spares on hand.